Nintendo's not the good guy. It's actually a genuine threat to the gaming industry. Behind that happy part of games and animal capturing lies a company desperately trying to protect a monopoly from companies they deem a threat. And that's what we're going to talk about today. But here's the kicker. There's a GTA 5 mod that actually might help Pal World to win this lawsuit in Japan. Because effectively, it establishes a precedent that Nintendo only goes after select companies to enforce their patent. And that's not how patent protection works. It's an all or nothing. So if Pal World can prove that they're selectively updating these patents, which by the way, they did, to target their competition, aka them, it's gonna get thrown out. And I'm all for it. So let's dive into the article. It's a fascinating read. A GTA 5 mod may assist the Pal World in combating Nintendo's lawsuit over patent infringement, which frankly is and you shouldn't be able to patent game design mechanics. Like they're actually going after them for I throw ball, ball come back to me, or they also have patents based on flying mounts, which I would love for them to go after Activision and say, hey, you know what? We copyrighted or we patented uh, flying mounts. Pay us. I would love for them to see them go after ABK and just to get crushed. But Nintendo was targeting Power World for alleged patent violations related to catching, aiming, and writing mechanics, which is just blows my mind. But the success of Power World may be impacting the outcome of the lawsuit, seeking 10 million yen in an injunction in Japan. Because the reality is that what they're trying to do is they're trying to halt the sales of Power World. They're trying to hurt them. They're not trying to make money off the lawsuit. They're just trying to halt sales and really stick it to Power World. Power World may have a Grand Theft Auto 5 modder to thank as their mod could end up helping Power World fight Nintendo's lawsuit. The surprising bit of Power World related information comes from an attorney that's well versed in Japanese patent law. The Power World made huge waves when it entered the gaming scene, with many fans flocking to the title to try their unique experience, which was often dubbed Pokemon with guns. And I, and I would say it's right. I, I think the reality is, is that Power World made a better game. It took the formula that is Pokemon and made a better game, and Nintendo is big mad. That's the gist of it. But the reality is Nintendo does have a 100% win rate when it comes to lawsuits, so a lawsuit from Nintendo is very scary. Because a lot of times what they'll do is they'll just drag along a lawsuit for multiple years and just bleed you dry so that you have to settle. That's how they win a lot of their lawsuits. Especially when they're going after smaller indie devs that don't have the money to kind of like combat that, it, it becomes a problem. While many of them felt that there were similarities between Power World and Pokemon, particularly with the designs and the game mechanics, the Pokemon company and Nintendo remained fairly quiet about the game until recently. Now, Power World is facing a lawsuit for Nintendo based around the unique patents. The main reason why Nintendo went after Power World, like the main reason why, was the fact that they signed a deal with Sony to make a new company to do IP expansion. So, comic books, animes, anything and everything that you can think of, they were going to expand into. Card games. They're trying to take the piece of the pie that Nintendo has owned for a very long time. One of the patents that Power World is being sued over has to do with the catching mechanics presented in the game. Players can catch panels by using PAL spheres, which are thrown to the target and capture them. And I think this is a really interesting one because, man, there have been so many animes that have used that. There has been so many games that have used that. So I think it's really hard for them to state that to enforce a patent, you need to prove, and I think that's probably what they're going to go into, you have to prove that you are continuously enforcing it or you lose that patent. And it's not on everybody else. It's on the patent holder to enforce it. I'm really curious like how they're going to make that case. The mechanic allegedly infringes upon Nintendo's killer patent number 75454191, which covers the act of throwing and capture item. In this case, the PAL Sphere, or any Pokeball, however, according to Japanese patent attorney Ryo uh, Arashida, has said that the game mod that preceded PAL World by eight years uses a similar mechanic and thus may render Nintendo's patent invalid. So it's exactly what I was talking about, how Nintendo is attaching this mechanic to an already established patent. They're utilizing that patent to go after specifically Power World, which is their main competition at this point. And they're trying to stifle any competition in this genre. And I actually don't know about Tem, like, does anybody know? Like, how does Temtem work in that? Does Temtem actually use a ball or a sphere or is it something else? Cause like I have, I just, on top of that, I don't understand how they're not going after Cobblemon, which utilizes actual 3D models of Pokemon and Pokeballs, but yet they're not going to go after them. So, 
I, I feel like I forgot what Tentem used. Yeah, like I, I feel like it's gonna be very hard for Nintendo. This is probably one of their weakest cases, I would say. While Pal World has made a lot of money, they may not have a lot in their coffers, but I guarantee you they will probably just fight the living crap out of this. Because on top of that, they have not stopped developing. They have not stopped their collaborations. They just announced that Pal World and Terraria are going to have a collaboration. I don't know if it's going to be Pal World going into Temtem or Temtem going into Pal World. They're not stopping. They're not slowing down. But this is literally like patent, patent drawings are always terrible, right? Um, but we have, we have a GTA mod, Power World X Gotcha game collab. Oh God. So they made a Pokemon Go version of GTA, which I didn't know existed. I actually sound, it sounds kind of cool, actually. <laughs> like wander around GTA and then pretend that you're in Pokemon Go and capturing monsters. That's not bad. That's not a bad thing. But has GTA mod saved Pal World? I, I honestly think that this is a valid case, but I think there's also, I, I, if the Pal World, if the Pal World lawyers do their job i would pull every freaking reference on a spherical object being used to capture a monster or anything because animes have used it for years they've never gone after them other games have utilized that they've never gone after them they've only gone after power world because it is a legitimate threat and nintendo doesn't want any competition they want you to be a nintendo fandom be happy with the drivel that they're selling you, and they don't want you to think about how the grass is greener over there. While not named outright, the timing of the mod's release in the description indicates that it's most likely a Pokemon Go themed GTA mod that came out way back in 2016. Most notably, the current uh, 7545191 patent Nintendo was using in its lawsuit is tied to a parent patent. Yeah, because it was an updated patent. Nintendo was using in the lawsuit side of the pa parent patent that was registered in 2021. In other words, the mod precedes both patents potentially making the legal challenge against Power World moot. This mod is get taken down so fast, but that would also make their case, would it not? It would invalidate their, it would invalidate their patent. It would completely invalidate. And that just goes back to saying that pat that game design should not be patent. Make game design mechanics should not be patent at all. But that goes back to the government shouldn't allow it. Because a game company is always going to try to screw over everybody else. Because the company is always going to do what's in their best self-interest, not what the industry as a whole is. At least most companies, right? There are some good ones out there that have good practices that aren't <laughs> But Nintendo, multi-billion dollar company that has a lot on the line and does not want to lose any grounding. So you can't be mad at Nintendo for being an asshole. And I think a lot of it comes down to Nintendo is probably a major conglomerate when it comes to how much they, for the pride of Japan, and also how much they pull in for the GDP of the country. So when you think about it like that, where there is national pride that they have this 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 game in this company, then I could see why judges or anybody else would be pressured to approve patents that frankly are not really in the best interest of the gaming industry. And the same could be said about in Korea for, you know, any kind of like like Nexon, right? Granted, Nexon's been in trouble lately <laughs> for, for money embezzlement, but in general, there is a sense of pride when it comes to non-Western game devs in their countries. However, the aforementioned patent is only one of the Power World's problems. Nintendo has challenged Power World with patent 7493117 and 7528390. Uh, the 3117 patent is tied to aiming in the game. <laughs> Such bullshit. <laughs> Absolute bullshit. While 390 focuses on writing characters. I would love, I would love it if ABK decided to sue Nintendo. That would be chef's kiss. If ABK, which by the way is Activision Blizzard King, or really actually it's not even ABK anymore, it's just Microsoft, right? If Microsoft decided to, you know what? Um, yeah, we're, we're going to put our fists so far up you, Nintendo that you're not gonna know what day it is. Don't give ABK and Microsoft any wins, they don't deserve it. No, I don't, I, I honestly don't think they would go after them. I, I wish they would, but I don't think they will. It doesn't benefit them. Other than to crush competition, it doesn't really benefit them to start a fight. Because then you start getting in a patent war of tit for tat. And I don't think that's what anybody wants. Uh, but I do think that they need to start throwing out game design patents. 
I really do. I, I really think that is just not healthy for the game industry. It is awful. <laughs> At this time, it's not clear if there is a similar case that could end up helping Power World with these two patents. What ends up happening is Power World remains to be seen. The lawsuit are seeking a total of 10 million yen, roughly $65,000. And if that doesn't tell you, chat, that this is more about the injunction to help to stop them from selling copies of Power World, because they have collaborations, they have this main thing that they're working with Sony on, like they're trying to just stop them in their tracks with an injunction not so much trying to cripple them financially at least not in the lawsuit right maybe crippling them by halting sales and ip expansion until they paid out the uh licensing fees while it might sting this number would hardly mean the end of the game developer on its own however nintendo's also why well, okay, they said what we're talking about wants an injunction that would mean power world could no longer be sold in japan that could have a much bigger impact on the game and the company. Though, if it's only affecting the Japanese market, Pocket Pair would still recover. And I agree with that. If they only got an injunction in Japan, I feel like there is enough success outside of Japan that would easily sustain that company. 100%. I don't know. What do you guys think? This is, uh, I mean, this is kind of an ongoing issue. I am just frankly sickened by the actions of Nintendo. But again, you can't also be mad at them, like we said. You know, you can't be mad at them for being scumbags because they're trying to protect their own IP any way possible. And they're always going to be scumbags about that. You know, because lawyers be lawyering. It's a footnote in this ongoing saga. True, it is. I feel like this one's probably going to be drawn out years. I think it's going to be drawn out years. This is a win for smaller dev teams in Japan. Yes, I think that's something to talk about is like if if Pal World does win, that sends a clear signal that Nintendo can't bully smaller indie devs like they have been. There's a great website to look at here. I think it's like Nintendo Lawsuit website. Yeah, sued by Nintendo. There's literally a website. Nintendo has played this game 77 times. Nintendo has collected 9 coins. Nintendo has relocked content 37 times. Nintendo has invited lawyers to smash 31 times. So YouTube, YouTube channel videos were removed for using a mod. Metroid Prime covers were removed from YouTube. YouTube got more than 500 copyright strikes from Nintendo. Nintendo closes the uh, DP Sound Library months after its launch. Issued takedown uh, requests. I'm trying to find the one. Oh yeah, this one. Nintendo lawsuit forced a Japanese dev to cough up $30 million. As Nintendo agreed to an amount of $92 million, they decided to settle. So, I feel like Nintendo is very much trying to have a repeat of the success of this in 2021. But I feel that they're not going to win this one. At least I hope. I hope that the judge is smart enough to see through kind of the, the BSery that they're kind of slinging for this one and really actually just dismisses their patent. Because there is precedent that's already been shown that they have not enforced their patent until this moment when they're actually fa facing like real competition. But yeah, that's it for this video, guys. If you want to say hi, chat, you can say hi to YouTube. Uh, we record these live. So if you'd like to jump in and say hi, we'd love that. But I would love to know you guys' comments and thoughts on what, if this GTA mod can save Power World or really what your thoughts are in the whole Power World situation. You know, if you think I'm wrong and Nintendo's a good guy, I don't, I mean, I'll fight you on it, but you know, everyone has their opinion. But thank you very much and I will see you in the next video.